We're about to take you along now to see the action one community is taking against crime to protect its residents. Our cameras were there for a roundup that put more than three dozen people in the Butler County Jail. Deb Silverman shows us how it's done. Butler County Deputy Paul Newton is on the hunt for people. We go nonstop. 24-7, daylight to dark a lot of times. Newton is known for tracking down high-profile fugitives who have fled the country, including Alfredo Lopez Cruz, who is accused of the rape of a nine-year-old girl in Hamilton. Our cameras are on Newton's trail now as he looks for people on our soil. Learning where to find one suspect can take hours of investigating. Knowing everything you can about a person, you know, where they live, where they've lived in the past, family members, uh, jail information, um, just anything you can think of, we try to pull it up and uh, get, use it as a tool to find this person. Newton is among five teams of deputies and U.S. Marshals that spent the last two days searching for and arresting a long list of people indicted on drug charges. The suspects were identified over the last year. They are being arrested in one swoop to protect the identity of informants and undercover agents who came into contact with the suspects. They're trafficking daily, they traffic weekly, and if I, they look back at a certain day, they're not going to remember who they traveled to on a certain day. Some are surprised by the visit from the men in bulletproof vests. Oh, no, please no. I've never been in trouble in my life. Well, honey, you've got a warrant for your arrest right now. For what? Once this man hears from family that deputies are looking for him, he turns himself in by a soybean field in Oxford Township. I've got no problem with cooperating with the police. It's their job. It's what they do. Case closed, go to the next one. Investigators say they are protecting the good citizens with each person they pick up. They go out and they burglarize, they rob, and they commit a felonious assault, things like that. And that's, what, that's why enforcement of drugs is so important. Even though it comes with its downsides. A lot of gray hair, a lot of long hours, a lot of times you, um, you miss out on some holidays. I've been on surveillance doing Christmas Eve. Um, families calling where you at and you know, you're doing surveillance on a house somewhere. And that was Deb Silverman reporting. It's important to point out that no one has been found guilty of the charges yet. The sheriff says he plans on doing a lot more busts like this.